Hi, welcome. I'm your host, Noé Herbás. I'm from Spain, and this is my entry for the Great Guitar Build-Off. Those are the woods that I'm going to use in this build. The battery is going to be made of Spanish cedar and the top of Mediterranean olive wood. This neck is flame Spanish cedar, and it's going to receive an ebony fingerboard. In order to glue the Spanish cedar body, I need to join the edges. Here I'm using my number 7. Now it's time to the other half. This Spanish cedar is a very light and resonant wood, so I love using it. Okay, now the two edges are ready, so I can glue the two blanks together. Here, it's very important to align the two blanks as well as you can. And the next day, I clean the glue with a card scraper. In order to receive the top, I need to clean the milling marks with my number 4. This is the template for the guitar body. It's a self-made design. It's like a strut but with thicker horns. To cut the rough shape I will use the band saw. I'm going to repeat almost the same process but with a tap. This Mediterranean olive wood is stunning, but have some checks and cracks. I will fill them with epoxy in a later stage. Planing this wood is a little bit more difficult than the Spanish cedar, due to the grind pattern. It's a very hard wood, almost like Indian rosewood. Ok, let's glue them together. To obtain a better alignment, I'm using these two strips of wood. Uh, 
and here the same. I'm using this card scraper to clean the glue. The next step is to trace a center line in the glue joint. Now I can place the template and trace the shape. The next step is to cut the shape in the band saw. This piece is the neck blank, and I'm going to plane it. I'm using my number 7. In order to register this neck blank in the ripping fence of my table saw, I need a flat edge. I'm going this because I'm going to slice this neck blank in three pieces. I want a laminated neck. Now I have three neck slices. The next step is to glue the heel block. I'm going to glue a heel block in each piece. I'll flash the heel block with the block plane. I'm jointing these faces because they are going to receive a decorative veneer. This is the decorative veneer I'm going to glue. It's a sandwich of black, white, black. They are going to be glued on the inner faces of the two side parts of the neck. Here I'm making something wrong. Can you spot it? One of these two pieces is being glued in the wrong side. And at this moment, I didn't realize just yet. I will remove the excess veneer in the band saw. Was in this moment when I realized that something went wrong in the glue up of the veneer. So, off of camera, I removed the veneer with the plane and cut more strips. This is the side that the glue up was right. 
The block plane is perfect to remove the excess veneer. The next step is to glue the neck back together. I'm going to use it to glue the veneers again, but this time in the right side. Here you can see them. I need to plane again the neck, to flush the three pieces. Here I'm laying the 10 degree angle headstock. I'm going to make a scarf joint. The bandsaw is perfect to cut that joint. The piece I'm cutting now is the headstock. I need it to be 12 mm thick. I'll finish playing it by hand. Next, I need to plane the two jointing faces, so I have to put them in this way. I need also a 90 degrees reference line. Once the two faces are flat, I'll be ready to glue the scarf joint. One more swipe. Now I can glue the scarf joint. To avoid slippage during the glue up, here it's important to hold the two pieces very firmly. I'm going to glue the headstock just a hair broad from the neck. Since the headstock is a little bit proud, I can play in it flash very easily. 
This is the last time I'm going to play in the neck. I'm going to leave it ready to receive the fingerboard. Here I'm using two screws to attach firmly the template to the top. Now I can bring it to the router table and clean it with a flash trim bit. And finally, I'm going to glue the top to the body. As an alignment, I'm going to use the two holes of the screws. By the way, the body is 35 mm thick and the top 15. Now, with the help of the screws, I can align the top. Okay, this video is going to end here. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to press thumbs up. And my apologies for my English, but I'm not used to speak so much in that language. If you don't want to lose the upcoming episodes, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for sharing your time with my videos, and see you really soon.